we go then. A little bit of a probe towards the ramp from FaZe Clan, and they're met by bullets and shrapnel. It's going to be broken down Nico down to about 50 points of health there. Meanwhile, though, they have got a PD50 down towards the back steps. That's going to be Rain with armor as well. Bear in mind, he'll be looking for the opening pick if possible, just trying to force some rotations. What's got a CZ and armor on simple? So lots of firepower in this pistol round. We'll see who comes out on top. Oh, great shot. That is one way to get the party started. And Nico, he got the invitation as well. Simple gone. The hard hitters are dropping left and right. Perfecto's the next on the chopping block. And with one minute still on the clock, top site is theirs and likely the round. Two remaining for Na'Vi. Make it one as another precise frag comes in, this time from Brokey. Well, it's going to be just Boomage, unfortunately, and he's playing for his life. He can't win the round at this point. It's going to be a four versus one. He's managed to pick up a single frag here. That's going to be $300 in the bag, at least. But no armor, no kit, no nades. He was one of the ones that had to drop that CZ. And down he goes. Lovely shot from Broke to close things out. Nico's going to be waiting as he's got Electronic. Going to be challenged here at Squeaky Door. He's got Vision. First kill says. It's a lovely flashbang. Olaf couldn't really contest, but actually Perfecto. He's mollied off the roof. Rain in with the UMP. And this gets infinitely more difficult for Na'Vi now because the site is lost. The plant likely could come in. Rain's on the site with it. Nico, however, caught outside. His adventure's in secret. Baroki with the rifle towards main entrance, and he gets absolutely wrecked. And it's a three on two now, a chance for Na'Vi. The bombs get about towards a halfway point. Cold Zera remaining here with Rain. Flashbang out, and it looks like the CTs might be able to do this one. It's looking really positive. That smoke towards Squeaky, and from behind, it's a Boomich double. Breathe it in. Fast smoke from Nico. See whether or not his teammates are planning on playing off of that. It does plume towards the lockers, and that's it. With one smoke, they take the fight heaven. There's no support with the smoke lounge lockers, and already Rain tucks himself in secret and pulls utility from Boomich. 90 seconds still on the clock. For now, Cry himself and their son to make their way over here. He's in a pretty safe position. Like, even if he gets flashed, he can get out of there. He's going for the fight, Alex. He knows he needs at least to kill, but it doesn't feel safe. He knew that fight was about to come from two angles at the same yeah. time. Smart to back away. He has another opportunity now. Trying to get himself into that headshot angle, make it as difficult for them to clear him out. And there's the info. Colzera got it on the jiggle, but still the frag comes in. Big from Flamey, and he connects onto a second. He's winning this round single-handedly. The door should be enough. Brokey finally silences the first defense, but there's more where that came from. Boomich, he's biding his time by decon. Timing on this door open is everything. The sound cue is now revealed, and Brokey's low health is removed. A nade as well will soften Ignite. up Nico. Woo, and rain. Yeah, that should be the round at this point. Nico, two versus one. He is surrounded, and unfortunately for him, there's no way he can fight his way out of that one. Very well played from Flamey. Managed to smoke them off, get himself towards the CT steps, and that's going to buy them some time. That smoke is absolutely everything. Yeah, he's playing this really well. Oh, the nade again. Oh, oh no, a barrage of damage. Look at the ADR of Na'Vi. Ooh, but the boost catches them. Nice work from Nico. Lovely little off angle found. It doesn't look like it's going to perhaps get them into the site. Brokey trying to change my mind as he removes the mind of Flamey. Cold's got to do a lot here. Plays the anti-flash and gets the first. Perfect onto Perfecto and FaZe. They take it with only the Desert Eagles and so much nade damage taken early. I feel like this would be a faster paced round with the Mactan maybe leading the charge towards Ram. Just gets stuck in. Indeed, that's going to be the case. He's trying to take that crosshair away. You see how effective it is? Olaf's not going for kills there. Just trying to make sure his teammates survive. And they've broken through and got Ram from a very vital part of the map. Oh, and they're not slowing down, Henry. They're charging in. Flamey, he gets only one. He did more with the Galil than the Org. And so, round seven looking positive for FaZe Clan. Access to the low site, Coldzera continuing his advances, and it's Boomich's MP9 that finds the next. Oh, no. Flashing themselves in, and they've caught him. He knows where he is. Boomich hiding in the corner. Nico can't find two instead. Electronic, a double kill, but at what cost? 13 HP, rain to clutch. It is the AWP of Simple. If he overextends just an inch, will go down. Simple pushing in, gets caught. One more player to find. Electronic, no health. No margin for error to secure the fourth. He hasn't really got the time now. This is the phase round, and Rain knows it, gets the frag as well. Cherry on top, and a fourth for phase. So Cold Zero setting up a little hut Molotov here. Just going to try and make things uncomfortable if possible. Doesn't land. Back to the drawing board on that one. And here they go through squeaky door. Simple. He knows he's going to nail that first one. Can he find a second, though? Not quite. Does damage towards Olaf Meister, which is converted by Perfecto there. They have the man advantage for now, but remember, this is another eco round, but it's one that's working out for them. Flamey keeps landing shots. Perfecto inflicting damage from the heart, leaving Nico in a three versus one now. 59 HP, throws a Molotov towards the vent. That actually lands in there. Nice work in that respect, but the bomb needs to be salvaged here. Boomer stuck 
Roasting in the vents at this point. 35 seconds. This looks very difficult for Nico. Needs to find an opening quickly. 25. Coming from heaven, could he have the element of surprise? Onto Flamey. He has grabbed himself a Krieg, though. This is going to be so hard. He has to be so precise. Back turned. He gets the timing and the frag. A second chance. Oh, my. Electronic, the one investment, full investment, pays off as he finds the crucial final frag. As we've got Flamey on the M4 once again, but he is fully equipped this time with the incendiary, which you do want to drop at the start of the round, if possible, which he does. So that should slow things down, but a nice smoke here. Faye still can help, and Olaf's movement is looking fantastic right now. He's going to get the trade kill, and they've avoided the scope of simple as well. This is looking very promising. Oh, the lovely setup as well. The smoke yeah. in the corner, making sure he can strafe out with vision. Beautiful stuff from FaZe Clan. As Nico coming off the back, that wants to be quiet here. Jumps on the ladder, and he is detected. Nice work from Boomer. It's good awareness. I'm ticking. They have the advantage. They're going to look to find this frag. And Olaf, he's wide in the open. That's an easy frag. For Perfecto. But now called Zera on top of the site. Will just go one for one? And in shadow, it's Brokey. He's got two. Looking for three. Finished by Boomich. Does he have the time? Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Okay. He's actually bailed on it. He didn't have the kit. How does he not have one? Going to go up against the odds. You know you don't have the weapon okay. advantage, but instead not choosing to use Blade. I was just about to simple force into it. He's gone for Deagle Armor down to zero. The rest of them with a partial buy, so maybe not such a, a wild investment after all, but simple spends all of his gold and will be getting into round 12 here. Opening pick for Electronic. Nice spray down. He's expecting cold and he finds him. That's some influence from Electronic. That star power looking to secure the sick for Na'Vi and a huge advantage. Will they be able to maintain, though? Don't forget, pistols. No Kevlar for Flamey with his scavenged M4. Boomich is this time the one to be holding ground. Different player, diff same result. Brokey, that's a quick flick. Connecting onto Boomich, a bit of a mess. Molly does mean that Brokey's going to have to hold that ramp push as his teammates descend. Well, here's the big man himself. Simple, waiting down towards lower. Desert Eagle in hand. We know he can use his weapon to great effect. Will he be able to deliver a few more headshots, though? If he goes down with nothing, FaZe right back in the round. If he gets one, Na'Vi should be able to close things out. As Nico finds the headshot so precise. Advantage for FaZe for the moment. Will they try and get that bomb down? They don't have to rush this, though. There's 40 seconds. It's all off to try and punch in the code. And they have that pincer. Electronic doesn't have a door to play with, but he does have the Krieg and another frag for Electronic. It's all him so far. Three frags. The Molly could find Brokey. It's going to get so hot if it spreads. I think he's just safe enough. And so instead, the Flames act as cover. And now Brokey can hold the line all the same. It's a frag and not quite convincing. It's now finished by Nico. Seven to five. Big work from FaZe Clan. And this point, 30 seconds. FaZe, you need to get the skates on, admittedly. Flamey knows he can save the day here. He can swing out, maybe get one kill. Push them in towards main entrance, they'll be ready for this. Here we go, that's the chance. It's chance, and he does shut down Nico. They're heading towards Simple's location. The doors are open, which does give them a chance to clear these angles a little more passively. The timing looks good. The spray doesn't, though, only one. Cold's error into the site. Nine seconds. That bomb is not in Atis's hands just yet. Cold and rain. Five seconds. They go hunting for the frags. This is Na'Vi's round. There's nothing Cold can do. Boomich secures it. And he's once again going to be tested. Throws the smoke. I'm not sure FaZe are respecting that. He doesn't either. One needs to be more because now low sight is theirs. Do they continue this momentum? It seems that way. Nico does open the doors, but yet to commit. Waiting for the double peak. Focusing towards that ramp area. Probably going to send Flamey in first to get the intel. Then the rifles will be behind him. Yeah, I loved Olaf's position as well. He was waiting, biding his time. He'll be looking to try and get the surprise flank. And that's a great headshot from Brokey. 13 frags. No issues for the newcomer. And he's got another one. Double kill to secure the round. Perfecto's left with his MP9. Does upgrade to the Kree, but only for a moment before it's snatched out of his hands by Nico. Now he can regroup with his squad. Perfecto. It's a tough position to be in. Boomich responsible for Heaven. They're going to pincer in together. Hut, Main, and Heaven. He can't hold all at once. He can't hold anything. Main removes him. Perfecto. Nice, precise. First. Second. Not going to be so easy, though, as he does manage to relocate. Olaf's having quite Ooh. the dual electronic. Does get him on the ladder. A hole in that. Flamey's going to perhaps have a chance. They may not be expecting it. FaZe Clan may not be anticipating that gap. It will be now as the door swings open. Brokey very quick to find it. Well, there we have it, Alex. After winning that second round force by... Ooh, perfect. 
So they have the call. They've got probably minimum four down ramp. They're going to be acting accordingly. Olaf continues to survive as he falls further back, treating that USP like an AWP, falling back to all the different lines. And now a five versus five bomb yet to be planted. It is descending, though, in the hands of Perfecto. It's Boomit to take the first fight. Ooh. Oh. Never mind, Rain secures a double kill. Bomb down though, it's a chance for Na'Vi. They need this round and simple. He's struggling, what's the burst about? Only a fraction of damage done to Nico. He doesn't have to move a muscle and simple. You can't contest much from there. Coldzera, however, being kept busy as well. This is powerful, but that's the shot they were looking for. Elevation from that bar and now just Flamey. He's tucked in on the site, only one and phase. They get the double digits, they take the pistol and lovely reaction from Olaf. I want to give him some credit for that. Oh, and he's gonna have a chance here. He gets this right so close for the MP9. It's exactly where it does the best work, but Flamey does neutralize that threat. Good dink nade. Nico, he's just slaughtering them. Boomich is low as well. And now Ooh. Rain arrives. They're doing it just the two of them. Nico, Rain, a double killer piece. And it will be Brokey to finish. A gorgeous round from two of the stars of FaZe Clan. Nice flashbang from the teammates there. Nico feeling brave enough to challenge outside, and rightly so. Bomb goes down, sprays two of them down, and we're going to see ourselves in a five on three. We have electronics still low. And in terms of time, 30 seconds, Alex. The bomb's down in the most awkward of positions. How do they even pick that up and even think about planting it? Yeah, Nico gets that so comfortably as well. He's really feeling himself into Nuke. And FaZe's Nuke has been something that they've kind of been surprised by themselves. You saw the interview stating that this was something that kind of happened naturally. He just started feeling more and more comfortable in practice. Well, Perfecto's trying to create some discomfort. Seven seconds left, though. They're just going to be looking to keep hold and have another go elsewhere. Electronic does take one. Not going to mean too much in the grand scheme. 14 for FaZe. They're two away. Perfecto. Ooh, Ooh. he doesn't get it. Goes down. That's going to be brutal. <laughs> oh, that's a wry smile. He's on 800 now. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sick from all of my. So he had no business finding that kill, and it's a huge one. You're absolutely right. He died after the time up, and uh, we're going to have a few compromises here. But looks of things, Boomich getting absolutely destroyed here by the long range creak from Nico, dropping the bomb right in the open there because he's simple, not really getting into it so far. Currently sat on five kills and 17 deaths. Probably been quite a while since we've seen those sort of stats from him. Just to rush up here, maybe a little bit desperate, but it's the first kill for Cold Zera. Looks strong as well. You've got Boomish HP. He's going down for sure. Simple. Can he save the day here? It's his chance. Start the redemption story on our first map of this series. Navi have looked lost on their T side. Last time they played this map, two T rounds. Well, so far, they've got none to show for it. That's called Zera. Another frag from him. He's been collecting. Ooh, he's trying to get <laughs> under the skin just a little bit. Triple kill from Cole. Oh, I love that. That's cool. He knows Simple is going to be tilting a little bit right now. Get under his skin a bit more. But Electronic looking to save the day. flamey has got this kill for sure. It's going to be a two versus... Oh, my goodness. Brokey. He'll just have to smoke the bomb and go for it, I think. The time is running incredibly thin. And we'll see whether he can close things out here. Towards the ramp is where Flamey waits. Looks like he might be out of luck here. Couldn't actually justify dropping the smoke. And Flamey will get the win in the end. It's the first round on the board for Na'Vi on their T side. Boomich will linger outside as well. With simple. That's a big frag. Olaf goes down early. And that might be enough to entice him to make the call. Well, that's the only M4 they had going down, and it's an awkward spot as well. Electronic will be patrolling that as he waits for rain. It does take a bullet to the face. I'll take a bit more damage to take him down. Still got 36, but that's not bad. Rain will recover the M4, I believe. So he's at least pushed Electronic back, and Brokey's found a frag. Four and four. Yeah, Rain even picked up the kit, so keep your eyes on that. Should it pay off in the end? Nico, I love this position. He knows that his weapon's not going to win him the round, but his positioning could. <gasps> he spotted him. He's seen him. He doesn't want to overcommit here. He's just waiting until they actually go towards yeah. heaven. That's his chance. Boomich is being very slow about this. And Brokey, he has that information. He's working with it as well. So he knows he's up now. I don't think he saw him. Does now. Yeah. Okay. 30 seconds. Bombs outside with simple. Oh, he's got to wait for the perfect chance. It's so close. Can't finish it. So low now, down to 24. One more bullet would do it, but they're on their way. And Brokey has to focus his attention on Boomich, but Rain's frag could have saved the day. That saved M4. He hasn't got Kevlar, and neither have Na'Vi got time. Rain continues. No armor, no problem. 100 health and three frags already. He's won the round for FaZe Clan. They bring in two rifles. They bring home the round. One bullet, one click of his mouse could have won them the round.
And that's Counter-Strike, folks. That's why we tune in every single day. Katowice continuing to deliver here. And if you have just tuned in, you've arrived just in time. This is an elimination game between Na'Vi and FaZe. Great position from Nico. I like this. Oh, and it's a perfect double. He's heading for that 30 bomb. We've only seen 23 rounds of play. They line up. He nearly gets all four. I don't think he'll be punching himself in the head anymore, Alex. <laughs> yeah. He's punched Na'Vi in the throat. What can you do now to save the day for Na'Vi? There's two, more like one and a half players remaining. It's simple. Who's the one bleeding? And Brokey's removed his healthy teammate. Just a matter of time for FaZe Clan to collect this. Or will Simple finally find the form that's been eluding him? 24, he fakes it. He's not ready for Olaf's position and collects the kill. FaZe Clan start the series with a bang. They take their map pick, Nuke, in the bag. And off we go to the races. Rain. Looking to fire off some shots this time that connect. Simple is going to be the late arrival on Long. And Rain, he's already managed to find the first. And it's Olaf Meister and Nico in perfect unison. Faze <laughs> in five seconds flat. Eliminate Na'Vi. Then right back into the bomb side there. We had the smoke down, so it's absolutely fine. And the A finish coming in here for Na'Vi. But it's Nico. Remember, this is the scouts. Dropping oh. the CD spawn. Great stuff. That's a great catch. Rain's going to be mad about that one. Nico, though, with only a scout. He can't really actively hold that drop down. Certainly not convincingly. And FaZe, they might just accept this one. You can see their stance does suggest something of that ilk. I think you might be right there. He's ever push in, Brokey's done for here, unless he times this very well indeed. He's just going to go down. Coldzera has a chance here. Can he get more than one? It's a chance, certainly. Tucks in on the corner. Perfecto presents. Good damage and finished by Nico. His Ooh. is looking fierce, but so simple. Flamey through the smoke, but it's all on him. Olof. His teammates have tagged down his opponent, so now Flamey operating with just 23. Trying to get somewhat of a surprising angle, but he's gone for the 50-50. Olaf got some information, he reacts, and Olaf secures the third for FaZe Clan. Phenomenal from Nico. They don't even have a chance, a say in that round if he doesn't hit that second dig. You know what they say about bees, Henry? What's that? They sting. In they go, Na'Vi. Not gonna be able to find the first, and Brokey, he can just stay there. No worries, the smoke's still there. Gray screen if you wanna fight me. Flashes from his teammates now, and that's enough. It deters, and Na'Vi will reassess. Oh, if he tucks in on that corner instead, he actually wants to actively fight it. Right, but he's so electronic, wasn't ready. But Olof, unprepared for the swing. Nico, fortunately, can keep control of Long. He will be flashed off, and great work from Boomich, the jiggle to draw the shot, keep attention on him. Nico, you're in trouble here. They're already up on A. He hits the dink onto Simple. We'll see if that pays off in the end, but now Na'Vi have a real shot at the third. I can't believe he hit that USP bully. He actually might have saved the round here. We'll see. It's Cold Zero coming through. Simple can't challenge. A couple of bullets towards Simple or Flamey will save the day. They've got no utility on the CT side, and money isn't amazing. I think they might just be giving up already. Simple, missing the shot on the cross. Rarity to see that one in the feed these days. Instead, it's gonna be Rain eliminating Electronic and he stands his ground. Boom, it's through the flames. For what? He does tuck in on the blue bin. In a way, boost, but Cold is pushing up middle as well. You can see some flare coming out from FaZe here. Yeah, this isn't a bad call, actually. All of my stick and sabotage their efforts, but is he aware the Perfecto is going to be towards T spawn? He just about gets the crosshair there, but minimal damage inflicted. It brings it back to a 4-4. Four four. Rain had to work so hard to get that first pick, and now he could be done for. Does he, is he the one who gets boosted up? That would make sense, and now they know exactly where he is. They have to go towards Shaw now. I think the swing is coming, Alex. It's up to Nico and Rain here. It's simple, landing a stunning headshot. The last line of defense has to be Nico using the incandescence of the flames Trying to hold on, but the smoke is down. He won't be finding a quick frag just yet, but there is a slight gap, I suppose. Simple, so desperate to bait out the shots. He does get Boomich into the site safely. The boost comes in, and so does the kill. Oh. Simple, a quick reaction could secure the round for Na'Vi, and he hunts for the last. Brokey's gone, Cold Zera remains. 40 seconds. Perfecto, he's got his eyes in the right place, but Cold Zera, ever precise, finds his eighth frag and Simple, he thinks he's got enough time, and he has. Cold Zera's hit the walk key, and that's enabled Simple to go to the other side of the map. It's ballsy. Just hoping for the timing. Got the information he needs, and that's a simple round for Na'Vi. Utility on Na'Vi, I'm seeing three bottles of flame, and two of them now flying through the sky. A need in response, trying to soften them up, and Olaf wants to fight on the flash from Nico. Good catch from Flamey. This should be Na'Vi. He's only one can really contest his reign, and he has to be so precise. This is a headshot angle, and there's three hunting him down from different angles. He does well to find one, and a good Zera frag does manage to make things close, but Na'Vi find their sixth. In towards tunnels. 
I don't think they'll use that smoke, but maybe they'll have to now at this point. Boomerich goes down as the in-game leader removed. This looks like a, a promising smoke. It's going to land towards CT spawn. And a flash, Nico off the angle, but that might spur him to a support B. It does, and he's arriving just as they exit the mouth. Broken to be checked and fragged. Perfecto. Perfect. Nico, another frag from him, but Flamey was in tow. All off to trade, and so a two versus three as the bomb goes down with just a second to spare. First advantage we've seen in a long time here for FaZe is the last round. No saving at this point. They do have a three on two lead. Barely any utility on the T side, but Simple, he knows he has a step up here. Nails that first shot, finds his 18 frag. Now where there might be a second player towards the tunnels, but Perfecto, he's got a patrol towards the window and the doors here. Simple confirms the tunnels are clear. Retake has to commit any second. Oh, Perfecto, that's lovely from him. Well, here we go then. 10-5 and a pistol round with two smokes. A couple of flashbangs, one Molotov. No upgraded pistols on either side here. So standard weaponry. But a push from Simple. It's going to be shut down. Cold Zero ready and waiting on the barrel there. And it's responded by Electronic as he gets a nice shot towards lower B. Found the first frag of this round to be tested. And that Molotov, we saw Na'Vi throw a similar one. Let's see what Nico chooses to do with his. In this tournament so far, when FaZe have found the opening pick, they've only converted 33% of these rounds. We'll see if they can find this pistol victory. It's Nico that can't get a kill on Electronic as he gets his second. Now tucking himself in, Cold Zero will have to step up. Electronic oh. just picking them off like it's no problem whatsoever. Cold Zero left towards Long, and that's going to be it. That's going to be the ace for Electronic stepping up. I think the CT's on A. Unthreatened, and now they're trying to make it look like a long take, and Flamey immediately responds with the Molotov. He doesn't have any cues, just a sense, and he's absolutely right to feel that way. Flash for Perfecto to get some of that information that's missing, and in they go, more than information, a frag as well. The flash from Flamey onto Nico, Perfecto's bullets raining in, and Na'Vi, oh. this is great work. Triple kill, round one. You said if they win this, call it done. Well, Dark Phase have been slaughtered on this B-split. Now just holding for the incendiary out. Opposite of smoke instead, drops that down, and they're going to be going for a little run boost there. Nico not slowing down. Oh, well, now he is, Electronic. Applies the brakes for him. Still a four versus four. Long will be the final hit. Boomich tucked in on Long, but it's only simple. He lost Electronic early, and now he's got to hold this site all on his own. Great angle, good fight, but he doesn't finish all off. And the Swede does one better. away, but Flamey and Perfecto, they're taking the fights they've been given. It's given them an advantage into this defense. Two players coming through now. No utility available on the CT side. It's starting to show as well. Like, Brokey. Struggling a little bit here. Brokey does finally hit one of those shots. Two versus one. Boomich surely can't have anything to say about this one. He's tracking him through the box. Opts for the AK-47. They're both so low. Boomich does have the kit, but time is so far gone. He can't do anything about it. He's hoping just to stop that orc from going into the next round. And mission accomplished. Boomich does his best to get whatever he could out of that victorious round for FaZe. Simple patrolling long. Trying to go in for that fast nade towards the lower tons. Wants to get more early damage. Distinct lack of utility damage from FaZe Clan, but I'll talk about that later because Simple has found another opening kill. Smokes fly. Electronic is on cart. There isn't a Molotov immediately available. A loss on short with it. Called Zera as well. Simple, lovely second shot. Big gap between them, but now FaZe are committing, and with 20 seconds left, he's done enough. The casualties keep adding up. Electronic and Simple, the only ones necessary to win this round for Na'Vi. And Cold Zera's doing his very best to not let it slip away. Hold on a second. He's only got 10 seconds. Where's the bomb? It's long. He can't reach it in time. He's going to have to accept his fate on this one. At least an AWP, that's something, but that's 15 for Natas Vincere. But two of his teammates here will have double deagles. Brokey with no armor on his. Ooh, I assume he dropped an AK. Look at him go, though. Straight through. The element of surprise, perhaps, because he's going to be under the crosshairs of Electronic. He won't be able to see the tip of the head if he crouches. Ah, but a jump. That's it. One way to solve that issue. Electronic will make the call. And the reaction is a whole lot of utility thrown their way. Bullets as well. Electronic aggressive, though. He's extended. But through the smoke, he's enabled to perhaps get another one aggressing into Olaf's crosshairs. 4v4. They aren't crossing the smoke. Excuse me. The Molotov is so good, they just have to wait. And that means the boost can come in for the cross, but behind the car is Olaf, and now swinging in is Flamey trading back and forth. The chaos continues. Two versus two. Where's that bomb? It's loose for a moment. Nico can't retrieve it. Boomich holds fast, and Cold Zera thrown into another clutch, but this time, Henry, he's got time. 
He has got time, but maybe not much of a chance here. The AWP will have to land a perfect shot. It's not going to happen. It's a very convincing performance from Na'Vi. Electronic will start already tucking in on the coffins, but that smoke likely could cause issues. He does have the option to jump on top of the coffin or block it with his body. What does that create for him? We'll find out. Molotov to flush Boomic into the fight. Flash eaten up by Electronic, which means Boomic was solo. And now Electronic, he's feeling like a man on a mission and a man possessed into the first. Olaf's gone. Rain does connect. An advantage for FaZe if they've got the bomb down, but they don't. Simple contest boosted up by Flamey, but that helps them piece together where one of the remaining two CTs is. What can be done here? It's up to Perfecto now to try and deny that plan. He can't do anything about it. It's going to be Flamey. Three versus one. C4 will go down with 10 seconds on the clock there. Flamey will have 100 HP and armor, but no kit. And you can see them just trying to show presence, try and bait Brokey in his towards the new boxes. Yeah, he's got a chance if he gets this clean. Rain will give it to him eventually, but oh my. And here we go. It's perfect. Eco's four blind. The trade is there. Hiding behind the half wall. A contingency plan from FaZe. We've got Cold Zera doing what he does best. He's lurking in the map right now. Seeing if he can open things up. Find some space for his teammates. But Flamey alone does manage to take down all of Meister. Drops the smoke and Brokey is firing off a shot. Gives up his position. So Brokey, his real goal here should be to stay alive. Look at Cold Zera on the other side of the map. He's got the bomb on his back, but Brokey's walking in. 28 seconds, they now have the bomb, and now as they clear it out, they'll start to be paranoid of that potential flank. It's going to be the first on the board for Na'Vi. It's not going to be anything tremendous, but a couple of smokes going in, one towards the coffins. One is CT Spawn, remember Boomer is setting up that flashbang. It goes in, Flamey will swing off it. Can he find the headshots required here? So comfortably ahead of that smoke. This should be just an awkward day in the park. It's Boomich, one, Flamey, another, but maybe the plant in the smoke. Nico, he's down to 12, but the bomb goes in. One extra bullet, and they wouldn't have the extra cash, but now on off. Yeah, he's up a particular creek without a paddle, and that will be Na'Vi securing themselves a comfortable second round. Fight being given by Boomish, just charging in and look at the flash from Brokey. He threw that from T-Spawn and it works wonderfully. Alcony, simple floating around the site and Flamey responsible for the CT arch and this Molotov could not be any better timed. Gonna separate and slow even more. Another frag this time, favoring Na'Vi and they keep coming. That Krieg, that's quite the tight line Electronic can hold with the T-Weaponry. 20 seconds, they're gonna have to swing into the site. Simple's above it, you can even see as they emerge in that off angle. Off gone for the trade, but Electronics keeping him safe and sound, seamless from Na'Vi. He's still there, Boomich jumped up himself, he is, and they've got a flashbang 15. ready as well. There's surely no way FaZe can win this. Look, the flashes 40. are coming in, they're wrecked. Oh, there's so much just utility potentially winning the round. Nico, that's crucial. The smoke on Coffin, but they haven't caught the bomb plant. He's gonna punch in the digits with one second to spare, and it's gonna be stopped in its tracks. They'll take it. One smoke grenade from, I believe it was the hero, Perfecto, has single-handedly won them the round. So they're going to have to commit off this in the next... Oh, they're going back towards B? This is break. And Boomich to be tested once again. It's only going to be the first. Nico, a crucial deagle frag. Coldzera's flag, excuse me, flash, enabled that to happen. Flamey will avoid the first. No, he won't. He's full blind, and he's going to go down. That overexcited return of his crosshair could have very well cost him. They still have one flashbang remaining. They might have to be a little bit more active with it. That's great. Really nice work. Olaf Meister. With the presence of mind to throw it towards the banana area, Colzera can swing up in the barrels at that point. They've got the lead now. And to hold on to it. Perfecto's closing in. Nico has the chance to take that fight. He'll be waiting for Olaf's call. Colzera closing in from banana and they secure it. Phase. They finally break the drought. Their first round in I think it's nine. Yes, nine on the trot. 9-6 is competitive. Despite Boomich's best efforts, they charge B once again. He's going to be surely locked in. He's right there with them. Oh, Boomich! Sandbags are his. They're doing the flashbang dance. He doesn't even have to break a sweat as the flamey Boomich combo is going to be toppled. At least the first component. Flamey's still standing his ground, and then the Molotov not going to choose to swing on it, but... Perfect position to deal with it. Tucks himself in, but Coldzera is hunting, and he'll find his target. Bomb to go down. And they're piecing together the puzzle. Bomb down. Nico and Coldzera make it just Coldzera left. One versus two. He's shaken. Two different angles to check. That's so precise. It had to be the pre-fire. He knows where Electronic's coming, and Coldzera, the hero on Inferno. It's quite rare to see both teams do the exact same T-Pistol. I think that's what's about to happen, though. Slow approach, wait for aggression, smoke in. They are just going to challenge them. With this kind of duel, they might just have to commit off this. Yeah, they are. Brokey did well to find one. 
And into the site they will flood. Cold Zera is going unchecked and all boom. It's lost the bomb in a slightly awkward position, but they will take control of the site. The rotate is on its way. Walking in, all off spotted. They know where one and two is. Perfecto just jiggling on the new box. Good catch from Flamey, all off unawares. And that's a perfect find. A successful pistol round coming in from Na'Vi. I, I do love that combination of smoke molly. Very cool yeah. with the flash as well, but there's the counter. Mm -hmm. They, they can't do much with it, and that's why Electron is comfortable to get up in this position. Ooh. Maybe not so much anymore. What a great shot from Broking. Like a drive-by. Smoke on top, a gap, but Nico ready and willing to take that fight. Brings Boomich down low, and at very little cost of his own health. There are three CTs awaiting a fight on A, and it's actually Perfecto overstaying his welcome. Will be sent down. Economic distress to fade. A couple of kills would do it, but simple. Removed for the smoke, Nico. Nice shot there. This will be Boomer to the AK-47. He's got seven grand residual cash here. Just waiting up to see if the CTs want to present any sort of aggression here. Boomer needs to be careful. The grenades coming through. Three of them as well. It's the incendiary to lock him in that spot. Electronic, he runs the gauntlet as well. Through the Molotov, down to 36. Gets himself back into all logs. I guess knowing he can no longer be naded in that position. And it'll be raining cold, Zera. Swinging oh. out with the flashbangs as well. That's the power of that three-man quad setup. Yeah, that just made the round look so easy. 12-11, well, we'll one round in it. Bit of cooking here from Electronic, using the gas stove. With those two rifles, you've got to keep that in mind. Simple and Electronic. Chad had their faces next to him on the couch, called them two of the world's best players. Well, those two of the world's best players have to save Na'Vi here. Advancing down long, Olaf to receive them. Connects his first bullet seamlessly. Simple, however, that's a huge frag. They can pincer in towards B. And now Nico, he's just going to be sweating bullets. He's got them closing in from both directions. His teammates are going to try and support him with a three man push up banana. Nico has to deliver here. Two kills would be a Dilek. He gets the first, can he nail the second? Significant damage towards Simple. Does keep them in the round. And Rain, he denies the plant as well. Needs to stay alive at this point if he can. Tucks himself in the corner. Very well played. Just trying to use the clock to their advantage. Can he do it once again? He doesn't deny the plant, but he finds a headshot towards Boomich. And now the final boss. Simple in the three versus one. He has been clipped down to 10 HP. Surely should be done. And there it is. Nice shot from Cold Zera. Very well played from FaZe. They're actually going to tie things up at this point. 12-12. Bomb gets planted with maximum loss bonus. Does yield yet another buy for Na'Vi. Nico, happy to challenge this. More damage inflicted, but that's one back for Na'Vi. Brokey. Got to keep his hands steady for this one. Because they're coming. He hears the molly extinguished. He knows he doesn't have long before the bullets have to fly. And he misses the shot. Simple. Does everything he needed to. But the cross, it's not smoked. And Olof, he's got two very hard shots to hit. The flick, as he anticipates them peeking over that smoke. A flash. He wants to go again. And Olof's got them locked in towards spawn. So they have to exit this way as well. So at least they can cause some decent damage here. Yeah, but how decent? Let's see. Oh, flash doesn't quite pop where he wanted to. That would have been very strong. Instead, going in dry. Zero's punished. He tucked themselves in that corner. Rain, how confident are you feeling? It's crunch time, Henry. Last map and last few rounds. And Nico's going flashed in, straight into the face of Electronic and disappears once again. Some fights in, maybe the smoke. Yes, they're pushing through it though. Nico has the flash. Do they have the frags? Already dropped in towards oranges, but I think Nico got the spot. Perfecto got the shot. Four versus four, but through the smoke, Brokey trading in again. This is chaos. In it comes, he'll swing. Should be one kill here, which there is. Two on two. They have kits, but no smokes. And it's a lovely boost towards the back, but it does give it the fact both players are there, Alex. It does, and now he's got Boomich. Simple to clutch. One versus one, both with double kills in this crucial round. And Ooh. simple. Just the tip of Rain's head is all he needs, and 14 under the belt of Na'Vi. We'll see whether this is where it comes in their favor. A lot of the line, Boomich. Firing off shots towards the coffins, but Brokey will punish him for it. course for Na'Vi too, but that 16th would be very difficult to fend off with the bite they would present. Shot from Olaf Meister extends their lead and he still holds towards the boiler, which is where Flamey is about to consider. Cold on to Perfecto, they're chipping away and it does look like FaZe will survive another day. Yeah, Cold Zero starting to hit some really nice shots now. Bombs down towards middle, indeed they will save. Balcony challenge and Olaf is vulnerable to it at the moment. He's covered by Rain and Cold holding fast on Long. Blood drawn, Boomich finished off. And as the smoke fades, Perfecto has the advantage and he seizes it. Olof takes the bomb out of play. Smoke, smoke towards Long and look what that's done. Perfecto's got no option but to either push through it or wait. 
and there's only 20 seconds on the clock, Henry. Where's Electronic? Flamey's from Balcony. Electronic just dancing towards short. He does get the bomb. He has his teammate Rain covering him. Olaf does get caught through the smoke and finish. Rain's got to do it all. 10 seconds, he's running out of bullets and he's been caught. The bomb can go down and this round is not lost yet for Na'Vi. Two on two. Looking for series points here. Na'Vi, it wasn't a clean entrance towards this side, but they've got the bomb planted now. CT sticking together towards quad. Flamey in that graveyard position. No utility on either side. This is a bit of a death match right now. Who will strike first? Eyes on the crosshair. Electronics found his double. Flamey converts. 15 for Natus Vincere. One round away from the Spodek. A lot of pressure. Flashman to come through. Olaf Meister handles it well. He'll fall back to more defensive line. Looking for the second. Can't quite connect, but still gets the information. Do they hunt him down or continue towards the bomb site? It's the latter. Here we go for the smoke. It looks very good for FaZe here. Yeah, but the Molly causing things to get a little hot and bothered for Rain, but he relocates and he's got him. Two frags, one frag's all they need. It's on to Flamey. A one versus five with the bomb down. He has found the first, but this is a mountain to overcome and already nades and bullets thrown at him. They secure it and a roar from the coach of FaZe as they live to fight one final day. Will we see the overtime? So tense now, Na'Vi looking to close it in regulation. Huge disadvantage here, it's the 4B execution. Molotov's to rain all over the side to B. Two players ready and waiting, Brokey and Nico. This time both with rifles. Nico, he's full flash, he stands up at the pot. The Molly, it's on top of him! Perfect Molly from Electronic! Brokey and Nico did well to get the necessary frags, they've made it level. But this is an after plan that favors Na'Vi. Olof, Orp, does have a smoke and a flash. In fact, plenty of utility. Simple to defend B. You know he's going to have a couple of kills if the flashbang's decent. Rain now knows he's there, but Simple jumps oh. up. Oh, he's bringing it back. Electronic oh. and Simple. They managed to save it. It's a three versus one. The Orp on the retake. I don't think he has what it takes. Na'Vi eliminate FaZe from the tournament, and they're going to the Spodek.